Okay. Okay, go and power that down. I'm gonna need someone to come up here for this next part. Now I need to find the perfect hair, okay? I'm looking for a, maybe a girl with shorter shoulder length hair. Not long. Is your shoulder length? Let me see. Your would be perfect. Yes, give her a round of applause. Come on up here. Hi there. Stay right over here. What's your name? This is Kara. Give her a big round of applause. Now, Kara, you saw what that was doing to me. You saw it shocking me, right? Yeah. But she's still volunteering. This might be the last thing she ever volunteers for. Okay, now, Kara, here's what we're going to do. As long as you're in constant contact with this, you're not going to feel anything at all. Okay, not even a shot. So we're going to stand on the stool here. And actually, before you get on the stool, I'll flip your hair forward and rough it up with your hair, your hands. Good, good. Now fling it back. Now you're ready. Go ahead and step on the stool. Place your right hand on the sphere. Do you t swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth for the rest of your life? <laughs> we'll find out. Okay. Okay. Light her up. I mean, turn it on. Okay. Okay. So it's going to take just a second. You feel it? Yes? Now shake your head. Shake your head just a little bit. Set that really hard. Shake your head a little harder than that. There you go. Okay. Now look at what's happening. Her hair is rising. Yes. Now how is this done? Now it's not magic, it's science. These electrons have negative charges. They don't like other negative charges. They try to get away from them. This is what they call uh, opposite charges like each other and <laughs> like charges repel. So these electrons are attached to the your hair. Would you do me a favor? Flip your head forward and back. There you go. Now back. Okay. I'm sorry to tell you your hair's gonna be like that for the rest of the day. Okay, I'm gonna try something. I'm gonna try something. My finger's gonna act as a lightning bolt. Feel that? Face that way. Look the back of your head. See that? I'm drawing the energy wave just by pointing at it. Okay, go ahead and power it down. And step down, your hair should go back to normal in about five hours. enough information to figure it out. This is also the emblem of the world's most secretive magician. He uses science to perform magic, and he starts performing at this park tomorrow. And for the rest of the season, he's staying here all year. He is the world's most secretive magician known as the world, as the, as the last great wizard. And he is me. If you figure this out, he appears. I want to give you one more clue later on. Now, the air is kind of interesting. We have one more experiment, and it involves air. The air is full of stuff. The air has gas molecules in it. It has dirt particles, moisture. All of these are different atoms. Can you feel that? When you're feeling a wind hit you, you're actually feeling, sorry, <laughs> you're actually feeling uh, air molecules brushing up against your skin. And we have other senses like just hearing and taste all that. Pressure is a sense we can feel. Now, this is gas. Gas has three definitions. The first one, air. The second one, fuel. The third one, we're not talking about. Okay? But I'm actually shooting a very specific shape at you guys. It's called a vortex. You probably can't see it right now because there's too much space between the molecules. So let's fill the space up with fog. Let me show you what a vortex looks like. This is a vortex. Cannons. And the way you make a vortex cannon is you get your dad's favorite garbage can and fill a hole out of the bottom. Get his permission first. Take a garbage bag to the opening and then fill it with fog if you have a fog machine. And then every time you hit it, you got a vortex. Now here's the game. Litmus is going to come up here and pick a young lady, and I'm going to pick a young man. It's going to be a competition between the boys and the girls. There's our young lady. And that young man right there. Yes, you. Come on up. Come on, volunteers. What's your name? Hannah. And what's your name? Kyrell. Ladies and gentlemen, let's have a big, another big round of applause for Kyrell and Hannah. Oh, Hannah. <laughs> you look different. Oh, someone's messed up. <laughs> it's not me. It's them. Switch places. That fixes it. Let's hear from Kyrell and Hannah. Kyrell, follow Olympus to that station.
sitting over there, and let's follow me. Now, we're going to play a game. Now, Lippis and I, we're going to show you how to play first. When I say no, you're going to take these cups, and you're going to stack them. You're going to make a four-cup high pyramid. You start with four cups on the base, two, uh, three are followed by that, two, and then one. Whoever makes this pattern first is going to win this competition. Now, it might be pretty easy, but you might get that. Uh, it might be pretty easy, but not when you're battling vortices. So stand behind here. Don't start until I say go. We're going to divide the audience into two teams. Okay? <laughs> Sorry about that, Anna. Everyone from here, all the way over to there, you are cheering for the yellow team. So make some noise, yellow team! Not bad, not bad. From here, all the way over there, you are the red team! Yellow team! Red team! Orange team! Stage. Maestro, hit 